It's race day vlog test. Take me to the world of silver, no more heartbreaks, tears, painkillers. Take me somewhere I'm from Today is a great day. Good morning, hello, welcome back to another race day vlog. This week we are heading to the East Midlands Regional Champs. But before we start this one off, I just want to quickly say I'm really sorry about last week. Last week was actually organised by Derby Mercury. I did amend it in the description, but I, I should have checked who actually organised it. So I am really sorry to anyone from Derby Mercury who was watching onwards. So today has been organised by Dean Barnett. He is from the Leicestershire side of cyclocross. So I'm very much looking forward to it because I've never ridden Misterton Hall. I went and watched my dad and brother race at Misterton Hall back when I was probably... 10 or 11 years old, so I remember vaguely what it looks like. Um, but I'm very excited to get there and uh, have a go at the race. So it's earlier today, it's eight o'clock right now, and our race is at 12.30. I'm racing in the same race as my dad, which is gonna be quite funny, um, because he normally overtakes me. So hopefully we'll get there about 10 this morning. So let's get on with today. The summer's calling The summer's calling If the kingdom is overthrown Meet me at the cornerstone I know that I can't be without you This bond is solid gold We're a diamond and an emerald it took me forever to find you Cause when it's all over The love that you give Will be there to guide you in every way Now we've been We've just got to Misterton Hall I haven't walked around the course because timings have changed a bit today We are riding the course at 10.45 which is in about 10 minutes so there's no point in me walking around and having a look. I'm just gonna have to go on and see what it's like. It's been a little bit chaotic parking wise, bit of a muddy field. So Levi's just setting up the bikes and things now. Um, I've just got changed, got a coffee and uh, yeah, we'll get ready to, to go and have a, have a ride around and then I'll sign on after I've, after I've ridden the course. But it's a, bit, it's a bit of a chilly one today. It's lovely lovely blue sky which is nice but it's uh yeah it's, it's a bit chilly gonna need to do a pretty good warm-up <laughs>
today is a great day because I've got my first ever prize money! I was fifth, I was fifth senior, which means I get prize money at East Midlands, which is very exciting. That race was so good, absolutely savage, absolutely brutal, but I worked bloody hard. And uh, it's the men's race now, so my brother is competing in this one, so I'm going to go and see if I can find where he is. He's, I think he should, might have just gone through, so I'm going to go and cheer him on now. Keep pushing. Go on, Andy. Keep pushing. Well done. That's it, Bruce. Well done. Keep hoovering those places. I'm just on the hunt for Mick, who does a lot of the photography at, um, at these races, uh, because I've got a Christmas card for him. Go on, Neil, well done, keep pushing. I've got Christmas cards for him, um, just to say thank you for doing all of our, you know, the photography, because, oh, oh I'm lost now. There's a fence, and I don't know how to get over it. Interesting. Hmm. I make my way through here. Oh, crikey, me. So, a little bit of a pre, pre post race debrief. Now we've got now we've got a minute to ourselves during the race. That race was super tough. Um, I really, really pressed on, made good decisions, um, and just basically kept telling myself, "Don't feel like you felt last week. Don't feel like you could have done more." press on as much as you can it's not gonna hurt for too much longer and I did and I and I got the place that I wanted to to get because I knew that the, the four seniors that were ahead of me I knew I wasn't gonna be able to catch them because they are leaps and bounds ahead of me but there was a few people that I thought I could probably beat them but one of them beat me at the Lincolnshire race that I went to a few weeks ago so I overtook her today <laughs> I stayed in front of her and then I fell off on the last lap just before the finish in the woods just before the finish I fell off and I was so worried that she was gonna catch me so I raced like I've never raced before and I pressed on as much as I could and um, I thought I was gonna throw up and faint but I got fifth senior so I got prize money and I've never got prize money before I'm super super chuffed with it I only did one bike change we didn't get that on camera because it was a bit of a hard one to film today, um, but I only did one bike change because um, the pits were a bit of a weird, um, like they're, they're on an uphill and then I couldn't actually find how to get into the second pit, so that wasn't, a, yeah, it was a bit of a waste of time really. So didn't bother changing after the first, after the first change. And it wasn't too muddy to, to sort of, um, to warrant, changing it and I was actually making up places on the uphill so my legs actually felt pretty strong oh there they are hello my pit people are up there <laughs> so I'll just I'll just leave them just leave them to it I pity for Bruce so I'm just I'm really really pleased with how today went I'm just I'm, I'm uber chuffed and we've not got a race now until the 28th of December so we've got couple of weeks off so I'm, I feel like I've done myself proud because I've gone out on a high and uh, yeah dead chuffed 
Well done, keep pushing on, that's it. Nice one, Andy. Nice one, well done. This little section up here was so difficult. You have to go right, this is what I did. I ran with my bike for the first couple of laps because you just can't get any traction up. I went right round on the left for some of it, which was all right, but he's got the right idea. Make up more time like that. Good morning, it's Monday, so I'm just popping on here to do my usual vlog roundup. And I just wanted to say a very quick thank you again for watching, if you made it this far. I know that yesterday's race was not great for filming wise. It was pretty tricky to actually get sort of anywhere suitable around the course. It was, but I hope that you enjoy the footage that we still got anyway. I am really, really pleased with yesterday's performance. Fifth senior is not massive to shout about I suppose. My general race performance, I was really happy with how I'd pushed on. I re really tried so hard. Thought I was going to faint at the end. It was lovely to see so many of you guys again. I had some really nice comments about the vlog so as usual thank you very much for continuing to watch. So we don't have a race now until after Christmas. It is the Matlock Cycling Club on the 28th of December. Local local Matlock Cycling Club girl. So I will be racing that race, uh, repping for Matlock Cycling Club. So there won't be a vlog for the next three weeks because I've got two whole weekends of no racing. There is just, there's no races on. I think there is a Yorkshire race that is um, a pajama, Christmas pajama race or something like that, Christmas costume race. So I'm taking the next two weeks off. I'm still gonna be riding, I'm still gonna be doing some training, but I'm gonna enjoy having a couple of weekends of downtime. So I will see you after Christmas. I hope that you all have a wonderful Christmas if you celebrate. I hope that you enjoy some time off work and I will hopefully see you in the next vlog in a couple of weeks time. I'll still be posting on my social media so you can keep up to date with me on Facebook and Instagram. My links are just in the description and I will hopefully see you in the next video. Maybe I'll see you at the race and I will see you guys very soon.